Good morning everybody, my name is Simon Bradwell from EBM Pabst here in Melbourne, Australia and today I'm going to be talking to you about fans for evaporators in the refrigeration industry. Um, it's been a while since we've made some videos so it's nice to be back, thank you for watching and we're going to be making a short series of videos about fans that are used in the refrigeration industry as well as in the air conditioning industry. Um, at the beginning, I want to draw your attention to this catalogue, which is available to download from our website here. Um, this is our This Fan catalogue, uh, and inside this catalogue contains the information with respect to the fans I'm going to be talking to you over the series of these short videos. So today, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of unboxing. It's a bit like Christmas. Uh, but unfortunately, unlike Christmas, I actually know what's inside this box, so my kids are going to be a bit disappointed, unfortunately. Um, this is a, a small axial fan for, that are used in evaporators all across Australia and New Zealand. Um, on the outside of the box, you can see the label, so you know exactly what you're getting inside the box. Uh, this is a four-pole, single-phase, 300mm axial fan for use in evaporators. Um, and all the sort of summary technical information is on the outside of the box. Um, you also know it's an EBM PAPS product uh, because our label and brand are all over the box, so you know what fan you're getting. So, inside the box, if I can open it, there we go. So, inside the box, first of all, the first thing that you'll see is the operating instructions and the safety instructions. These are really important. These come inside uh, every box that you'll receive, um, as well as in labels on the outside of boxes and skids um, stuck to the side. This documentation is for your information and I encourage everybody to read it and have a look at it, please. So the fan itself, let's have a look. So here's a typical 300 millimeter fan used in evaporator applications. First of all, you can see on the outside there's a terminal box, which is an IP65 terminal box, um, with two, um, uh, two terminals in here, such that you can wire a product in and wire it out again. Um, as I said, this is an axial fan, so air flows in this direction through the product. Um, and axial fans are typically used inside this evaporation because we want broad air coverage inside the evaporator, uh, but also the static pressures inside the evaporator is normally quite low, so axial fans can be used in that application. Now, the application of an evaporator is actually quite arduous. arduous. Um, first of all, you want a product that's going to last, and there's two design features that we use to ensure that's the case. First of all, it's an external rotor motor. Uh, the significance of the external rotor motor is that the external rotor is inside the airstream of the product, so it's being constantly kept cool, especially inside the application uh, of an evaporator. This means that the bearings run cool inside the product, which means you'll get greater longevity out of the product inside your application. Secondly, inside an evaporator, the, typically the, the, um, the environment is moist, wet, um, and, and sometimes quite icy. It's really important, therefore, that we protect the fan from any moisture ingress. Now, often moisture ingress will occur, but what we do is make sure that we've covered and coated the electronics and the windings inside the product, such that if moisture ingress does, it does occur, it doesn't cause the product to fail. So, this is a very standard four pole, single phase, 300, 300 millimeter axial fan. There's also a range of other products, uh, mainly EC products, and these are becoming more and more common, especially in those products that have been imported from Europe. And I'm just going to show you those now. This is typically the range of fans that you'll see on evaporators, both those manufactured locally here in Australia and New Zealand, and those imported. First of all, there's the AC fan that I've just been talking about. Secondly, there's an EC fan, which is very common with just a bit of basket guard. And then there's the EC fan with the full axi cool, which has got the throw, uh, as well as the, the guards integrated into the front. Um, this also has a product where you can um, lever the fan open, such that you can get inside the evaporator and clean it. In summary today, uh, I've talked to you briefly about the This Fan catalog. 
the importance of the operating and safety instructions which are attached to every skid and inside every box that you receive. Um, I've gone briefly through the application of evaporators and the use of fans in that application as well as show you both AC and EC products which are available broadly across the market for evaporators. Um, I trust that's been useful for you. Uh, if you need some more information, please contact us, uh, either on the phone or via the website, um, and all the information that you need to do that will be following here at the end. I hope you're all well and stay safe.